I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. Hi, my name is Nancy Yi. My Chinese name is Wong Sanju. I born in Canton, Guangzhou, China. Uh, I, my family is a big family. My parents had seven kids, three boys and four girls. I'm the youngest in the family. And uh, my father had a business, is carving on Printing. Uh, in the forty, in the forty, then when, when it's the war, then we moved to Hong Kong, but we can't bring all the business or house and go to Hong Kong, and we go Hong Kong, start all over again. But that time my parents is old, and they can't take care of anything now. Then I go to school at Hong Kong after I graduate. I say, hmm, I like Hollywood. I maybe one day I go Hollywood and be a movie star. That's what all the little girls dream about that. Me too. Then I always dream and one day I meet a young man. He's very handsome. He's had the, all the American uniform. It looks so good, and I fall in love with him. And later we get married, and seems I could go to America and be a movie star or something. Then I left Hong Kong before then. My mother's cry and I am crying. We don't, I don't want to go that time. Then my mother say, no, it's okay, it's small world. We live all under one moon. When every month, the full moon night, you look at the moon and I look at the moon and we think about everybody. Then you be not that lonely. Then I do that, it feel better. I feel very good, keep thinking. Uh, how my life is and how my uh, Hong Kong life and China life, uh, how it is. Then in the 50, I moved to uh, USA and I in the most beautiful city, Santa Cruz is gorgeous. It had a beautiful beach, everything, but I still crying. I don't know why because I miss my own family. Yeah, even like that, then I'm so lonely in there. First I come, I don't speak English. I don't drive. And I can walk to anywhere. And they only had two family in Santa Cruz. One is the restaurant, one is the laundry. And of course, one is my in-laws, but I had nobody to talk. They work day and night, only me alone in the house. I keep dreaming, I say, how I go to the Hollywood? My main goal is to go Hollywood, and I still doing it. Well, then I talk to my husband, I say, why don't we move? That time I had my older brother, he's in Los Angeles. And my grandfather come here is in the 1920. And my brother is come here the 30th. Then I could move there then. I asked my husband, then we moved to Los Angeles. But that time we had no money. We say move out, but no money and we live in a small apartment. And my husband had to do two jobs to support me. 
and my daughter born and I can't go out to work and I took some clothes to come home and sew, sew for the factory. Ah, those times is so hard to me, come to think of it. Well, then later the 60s, then my parents come from Hong Kong, then they live with me and they could take care of my children for me. That time I had four kids already. I had two boys and two girls and I could go to work. Then I look around and Chinatown, LA Chinatown had the new mall building at called Mandarin Plaza. Then I in there opened a store. Like follow my father's footstep. I opened a sunshine printing and store and stationery. Then I see a lot of people from China and from Hong Kong. They don't speak English, they don't write English. I say, well, I better do something to help them. And I open a post office in my store, the first post office in Chinatown. And when they come here, the older lady or anybody don't know English, I could write the envelope for them and I could tell them weigh it for them how much. Then everybody's so happy and they love my store and make my store is a real busy. One day the Chinese Chamber of Commerce is the president and he come in my store he said hey Nancy I don't know you speak all kind of language. I say what? He said Mandarin, Cantonese, Toy San, all Chinese I understand and I write and read and talk. He said, why don't you come work wood for me? I say, hmm, I have my own store. How can I work for you? He said, come on, your husband could take care of the store. You work for us, we need you. Then I think about that. I really answer him and go to work for him. And just cross the street from me and it's very easy. Then when I go there, I realize so much work. They had Chinese New Year po Golden Dragon Poulet, they had Miss Chinatown pageant, they had Little King and Queen, they had like a moon festival, and they had golf tournament. They had millions of events. The whole office, only me take care. How can I do that? Well, it, I work hard. And I like it. I worked there like a 20 some to 30 years until I retired. Uh, but a lot of work, paperwork, I had to take it home to work. Every month we had board meeting. Every board meeting we had to write a report and send it to the member. So many hundreds of members. Work hard, but I got a lot back. I meet a lot of famous people, movie star, even President Bill Clinton. I invite him to Chinatown to the speech and he do it. He even invite me to his meeting. I'm so happy to meet him. He's so nice. And the first president come to LA Chinatown to the speech. That's amazing. I like it. Well, think back, it's a lot of work, but I'm happy I work there until I retire.